Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Finish 5 by Fall update. And I will, as always, link my previous videos down below, but if you have not seen them yet and you just kind of stumbled across me, by the way, hello. But uh, I am actually doing 10 items, 5 makeup and 5 beauty, so let's get started. I guess I'll start with the beauty because that was the only thing that I had finished last month was one of them. I finished the Bain de Terre hair oil that was actually in my finish for by the 4th of July. And because I had finished a chunk of it in that last month, it didn't take me long at all. So I actually threw in another hair oil. This is the Uberless Straight Effect Ritu Oil with Orchid and Argon Oil Complex. I was up here, now I'm down to here. I have mentioned this in other videos. Hair oils are really hard for me to use up. I don't know why because I have a ton of hair. I mean, I have a lot of hair and I have really dry hair because as you can see, I dye my hair, but I just never go through them because I have only, I have struggled to use up two samples this year and the first one was smaller than this. So I have no idea. I will probably not finish this by next month because we are only a month away from the deadline. But that's kind of why I wanted 10 items and just be like, okay, if I finish five, that'll be great. Next is the Got To Be Rockin' It Encore Finish Dry Conditioner, which let's use some right now. Ah, I hate the smell of this stuff. That's one of the reasons why I have to make myself use it. It does, you know, kind of smooth and give some shine to the hair, but I'm not a big fan of it because of the smell. I got this from the Dollar Tree last year. It looks just like the dry shampoo, but it's the dry conditioner. I really can't guess where this is at because as you can see, this is an opaque bottle. I might want to say it's about right here, but I really don't know. I'm going to try my best to try and remember to use this because this is also in my what I want to finish in 2015 videos. Oh, that stinks. I hate that thing. Let's see. Next is the Catwalk by TIGI Session Series Styling Cream. I have been making good progress on it because this is where I'm at now. That's where I was last month and that's where I started. So this will definitely be finished next month. This will probably be finished the next two or three times that I shower, honestly, because what I do is I shower and I put this in my hair while it's still wet along with the other random things that I put in my hair. This works a lot better when you have shorter hair, but even though I keep meaning to go get my hair cut, I have not done so yet. I'm actually going to pay somebody to cut my hair this time, which I haven't in about five, four or five years, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Probably about four. No, it's only been about three years, actually. Probably three to four, honestly, somewhere in that range, because I really like being able to boss somebody around, and a lot of hairstylists, I'm not trying to be mean here. I come from a family of hairstylists. That's why I say this. A lot of them want to do what they think will look good on you. So and if you want something different, you have to fight with them. And I'm really just not in the mood for that most of the time. But who knows, maybe I'll finally break down and get somebody to give me a good chop with some layers because my ends are kind of fried. Anyways, the next beauty item I have is the Killer Queen by Katy Perry Rollerball. It was full when I started. That's why there's only two marks. But first update, I was here and now I'm down to here. So I have a little over half left. And I thought rollerballs went really quickly, but it's not going very quickly for me. Um, I do kind of switch off with perfume samples, but I get maybe if I just use this over the next month, it might be gone by the end of this. And I will be happy to get rid of this because despite my love for this perfume, I have a bottle of it too. I bought some little Christmas kit last year that came with a rollerball, a bottle, and one of those perfumed lotions that I never use. But if you could see up close, it's starting to get cloudy because when you like rub it up against your neck, it picks up makeup. So I will probably never buy rollerballs purposely as one perfume unless it's the only way to get it at a decent price. I'm looking at you, Altier Cologne. Anyways, um, the last beauty item that I have is this Revlon Multicare Base and Top Coat, which don't look at my nails right now. They need to be redone. But I had to add this last month because I lost my Sally Hansen Fast Dry Chop Coat and I miss that so much. I hate this stuff. Because you have to sit around forever for it to dry because it's not fast dry. It's kind of why I'm trying to get rid of it. But it started here and now I'm down to here. And because the bottle tapers out, it's going to be harder and harder to use it up. 
And as you can see, this is super liquidy. And as people put, uh, and of course it does that too. Like I said, I really want rid of this. And as some people pointed out in the comments last time, multi-purpose base and top coats do not work as both because base and top coats perform different things. And when I originally bought this, I didn't quite understand that, but as I have used it now, I certainly do. Now for the five makeup items. Let's start off with the best one. Um, I finished my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips, Lip Liner in Sedona Red. I finished it tonight, actually, while I was getting ready. That, it doesn't roll up anymore. Like, that's just clicking noise. Let's see if I can get a swatch. I actually mixed this with a different lip liner tonight to get see if I can get a darker red for my lipstick that I will show you in a second. And that wound up using the last little bit of it. But as you, as you can see, like, I started using this for Finish 6 by Christmas last year. Or Finish X by X. This is actually what I did. But... I do really love Jordana's lip liners. I think they're nice and creamy, and for like $2.50, you cannot beat that price. So I would definitely recommend them. That's done. So that's at least two out of theoretically five items that I need to finish. And here's another one that I have no chance in hell of finishing. It is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm and Striking. It is what I'm wearing now, but it's layered with different lip liners to get a slightly different look, so it doesn't normally look like this. And just like last month, I've only worn this a couple of times. I guess I've just not been in the mood for red lips lately. Because I've been wearing more bold eyeshadow, so. And as you can see, despite wearing it a couple of times, it, it's actually slightly lower this month. But if I drew the line, it would be directly under the old line, so I don't see a point in doing that. Like I said, I'm not gonna finish this. I'm not even sure. Well, I drew it out of a freaking randomizer, so it wasn't quite by choice, although I did put it into the randomizer to be chosen. So, I guess there's that. But this also has marks from trying to be used up last year and finish X by Xmas. And then I did a pretty good job. I got probably about a third of the way through it, but I just haven't been in the mood for it. Next, I have something I can't show progress on because it's opaque. It is the Physician's Formula Talc-Free Mineral Wear Correcting Primer with technically it has like SPF 15 in it, although I don't think the SPF is any good anymore. And here's the brush. It has gotten kind of nasty and destroyed because it does go over foundation, or it goes under foundation, but it picks up anything that it remotely touches. But I don't I think there's a ton left in this because it doesn't honestly look like it holds a ton of product. It only holds 15 milliliters or half a half an ounce, apparently, which is not a lot at all. Most regular drugstore foundations hold a full ounce for a comparison. Like this is also in here and it holds a full ounce. I have not been using it a ton this month, or it might already be done, honestly. And that is because I was trying to use up my Benefit Professional for my Project Pan, which I also used up today, spoiler alert. So I, I'm almost positive that I can finish this next month because this will be the only thing that I will be using because that other primer is done. Let's see. Since I should kind of weigh this around in the air, here is the Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear Foundation in Classic Ivory. I don't like this. This thing smells funny. It does not make me break out. It does not do anything like that. So I don't think it goes bad. I think it just stinks, like as far as smell is concerned. And on top of it, it is really yellow. Now, I have kind of warmer tones in my skin despite some redness. But like how I was taught to check this, so I have no, if this is wrong, feel free to correct me. But I was taught to look at your wrist and look at the veins in your wrist. And if they are blue, you are cool toned. If they are green, you are warm toned because you have more yellow pigment in your skin. Well, mine are green, like they're, they're freaking turquoise to me. So I'm erring on the side of green because I've seen blue veins and they're like blue, blue. So I think that, I'm supposed to go with the green, but this is yellow for me. Like this is super yellow and I have to fool with it and powder it up to make it look right. And I really dislike it eat. And I want to use it up because my sister gave it to me because it wasn't working for her. Maybe that should have been a lesson, but anyways, I started up here and the first month I did not use a lot of it. I think I was trying to use up something else as well. That might've been while I was still using the Rimmel Stay Matte a little bit. 
But this past month, as you can see, I made a big jump. And I was actually surprised because honestly, I thought that it was about to hear. But when I measured it, because what I've had to do because this stuff doesn't drain down to move it, I actually had to stick the handle of a makeup brush in there, stick it all the way down, and then measure it beside it. And I did this like three times to be sure, and each time that's where it measured, so I'm gonna go with it. Which hopefully means that it'll be done soon, because I do have to like beat it against my hand to get product out, because another dink against it, it is open bottle top. And I mean, if you look in, you can see, or maybe you can't, but I can when I look at it, I can see all the way down. So I guess I am almost done. And I will probably do a dance that day. And finally, I have my Makeup Forever. Oh, what, is, what are these called? Makeup Forever Eyeliner. I think they're called Aqua Eyes Eyeliners in 12L. It's this bright green color. There it is right there. And I did wear it today with the red lips because I just wanted to use it some. Because for some reason, I've just been focusing on other eyeliners and I haven't really been using this. So that is the measurement. As you can see where I started last month and this month, and I even date them. And I started up from the red line on the paper, by the way. That just helps me unless they're, you know, huge. But this is one that I don't know if I can finish. I might be able to finish it. I know what my lip liner, that's from the same brand and everything. I have sharpened it like all the way down to here and it's still got product. So I would have to use this a ton in the next month. I would have to use this as like an eye base probably, which that would actually be really pretty. I should try that. I want to try that tomorrow now that I'm thinking of it. Because that would also use a good bit of it up. Plus that is a really pretty color. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.